You are not me and I am not you. Maybe we are. Maybe, in a different maybe. world. Jeez. Say less. No, oh, that doesn't work. Yeah. You, uh, oh, there's no switch button. Damn. Yeah. That's not good. Yeah, I know. That's what I was looking for. That's not good at all. And Rust Ska. All right. And we are coming at you from the Blurry Pixel, as always. Yes, we are. Every Monday, 7 p.m. Till whenever we're done. Pretty much. That's how we do it. Oh, anyways. Uh, are we winners round preview. one? Preview. There we go. You got that on? We are winners round one. I do indeed. Oh, damn. You're too good. That's I'm why too good. I do not pilot while I commentate. Yeah. I'm used to it. I've had years of practice. Yeah, I Although guess. Not with PM. this exact setup, but, you know. How long has PM been out? PM's been, I mean, it's been, oh. Eight years? Right. I don't know. Um, Man, if I'm Yeah, right. I mean, it started development in 2009. But uh, years, like, I've been wow. playing since 2016, basically. That's when you started playing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're already fifth best player in Canada. Damn. Uh, not in Canada. Oh. But, uh, Ontario. Oh, man. Not yeah. even good. Yeah, yeah, I, I respect I'm like you maybe as a player. Top 10 in like, Canada, no? but probably know. not. But probably also, but we'll see. Depends who's active. So, oh, anyways. Please. We will have... Panda Mario versus, versus Luigi. And I have the names backwards. You got the names statue. backwards. Yeah, yeah. But that's okay. We're going to get started right it. here. I'll find it. Smashville. There we go. Both would like to go for uh, the purple alt. Yeah, yeah I, I mean, like it. Mar Mar Luigi's definitely purple. the best one. Yeah, while, while Luigi is uh, yeah. that's a solid high tier skin. They so, both got some know. cool zero to deaths, but yeah. Luigi can't get any of those right now. The word is too high percent. Yeah, uh, Wario, of course, coming off a pretty high, a pretty high uh, placement as a character. You know, he wants to want to yeah. want to yeah. small tournament. You know, yeah, Frostbite wasn't too big. Like, thousand thousand entrants. What uh, was it like? Yeah. One Japanese player yeah, or something? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> some sixteen-year-old. Like, yeah, who is that guy? Yeah, <laughs> I didn't even see him in the crew bottle. He's not that good. Yeah, who also played Wario, by the way. Oh yeah, yeah. it's true. That really yeah, goes well, to say no. something, you know? Yeah, Wolf deleted, Wario completed. Yeah. I don't I do not do copy passes, I'm sorry. Oh, I, didn't I only know. have room in my heart for one copy pasta, and it is. Oh, Maggie! <laughs> yeah, that is the best thing ever. It really is. So anyways, we see uh, Panda's coming out to a bit of a lead. He's got Luigi in that um, that edge guard cycle. Luigi, yeah. of course, he can get a lot of distance on his recovery, but super linear. Yeah, he's definitely going to dead to that dash. Hey, you know what else is really linear? That nice little shoulder bash. Yeah, that's, that's yeah, point a, a point dirty B. move. I like it. <laughs> I'd like Always to definitely base. see yeah. Panda going for a bit more back airs. They're very safe, you know. But where is neutral isn't the greatest, you know. Ooh, Dale Smash going to take it. And suddenly we're just uh, even all over again. That was uh, maybe some see. stanky GI, but I mean, he got launched like across to the corner. So I don't know if he could have lived, actually. Yeah. Do you know if Panda's played Wario for a while or he just picked it up after seeing Tweak last night? Uh, so Panda's actually the Wario. Okay, he yeah, is the Wario. Yeah, Samaka was playing uh, K. Roll and DK. Yeah, but uh, I think he's found a uh, found a new calling in life. Luigi, all right. Yeah, he said, you know what? We're gonna drop uh, drop some of the, the panels. We're gonna drop some muscle. We we'll get some speed. You know, maybe that's where uh, that's my. I calling. could never match the cyclone, so like I'm like I'm glad it's not yeah. a thing. You know, like oh I can play Luigi God. and be like. Elegant oh, face when mashing is actual like yeah. it's a thing of beauty. Yeah, that's cool. dope. Twenty four hour event going on? Uh, no, 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 no. It's just uh, it's just a Monday weekly. It starts at seven p.m. Yeah, man. Twenty four hours. I can barely play yeah. Smash for once. So we'll probably be here till eleven. That's when we usually end. 11? Yeah? Yeah. Uh, maybe 10.30. I might be overestimating. All depends. How many best of five this guy wants to do tonight? Oh, true. Going for the up to a walk. Not confirming, unfortunately. Ooh, you got to be for that. really precise with those because yeah. it's going to cost yeah. you a game. But you're up a stock. Might as well go for it. You know? Sonaka showing he is very willing to just go over those super jump punches out of nowhere. <laughs> oh, oh, man. man. You know what? The Wish Cyclone <laughs> going to get punished hard there. <laughs> Fist came out of nowhere, too. Panda taking it with a clean two stock. <laughs> game one. Yeah, with a, clean, with a clean slab of meat to the face. <laughs> yeah, that's dirty. I didn't see Panda use bike really at all on no, stage. No, he didn't have to. Yeah, that's true. Definitely like to see Luigi a bit more fireballs for sure. Mm -hmm. Not going for random up beats, but maybe we'll see the switch to. You said he plays DK and yeah, and K roll, but I think he's dropping K roll. I think all he's right. uh, except, like we've all had to accept into our lives. Like K roll, he's a goofy, funny boy, yeah. but you know that doesn't translate well to Smash unless you're Olimar. He was overrated the first few weeks. Everyone put yeah. him up pretty <laughs> high. He's like, yo, man. this guy has a projectile and another projectile. Oh, you can wait it out and punish it. Oh, yeah. wow. You can literally just jump and invalidate the character. Yeah, oh. it's pretty good. <laughs> He's got some cool ledge traps, but that's about it. All it's right, so we're sticking with the Luigi. I did not see the stage pick because I'm a bad commentator, but... Yeah, maybe he just wants to get the Luigi download. Be like, all right, what am I doing wrong? What am I doing right? I'm on a stream. This is the best time to rewatch my match. And you know, he missed two up these last game. Maybe this game he hits two and he wins. 
Look yeah, at that that's easy. all we need to see right now. Yeah, up tilt, no follow up on that. Unfortunately, he's gonna get punished. Yeah, he's already seen that just... late nair is no bueno on shield. He's taking the mile right now and just going for upper, upper, upper. Luigi, historically, very uh, a lot of trouble coming down through characters. More oh, yeah, fail. Sure. Great move for getting that out of that up air. Seeing that getting great mileage already. So we see the bike come out now, finally coming yeah. into play. Uh, no okay, fireballs at all. Like, I, I think he tried to fireball yeah. there and he just uh, did the side B by accident. He tried to reverse it. Maybe he just won that misfire. Yeah. He's like, I'll yeah, take yeah. this stock early. He, you know? he might just be sicker yeah. than me. Like, I don't know. You oh. went on stage, you won that misfire. Yeah. He's like, it's coming out. <laughs> yeah, cruise missile. Fire. Direct hit. Oh, oh man. You I'm just going to walk up and show you <laughs> cannot. There's a direct hit. Yeah, there's a second missile for you. Yeah, that's just dirty. Very nice move. Oh, but nice little back area to saw. Uh, Even up completely, stock. man. Good. One, two. Okay. Would you I'm combo? doing a full combo. Some of the silliest safety game. I would yeah. like to see grab there. I want to see. I want to see grab. I want to see some follow ups. Yeah. It comes out frame 14. I think Luigi's grab, but yeah, basically it's like it has the same frame data as a normal standing grab, it with a bit more delay at the start. And the hitbox afterwards yeah. sometimes yeah, it's not it's a like bad option. You had a few frames, you had a tether with the yeah. same data as a standing grab. That's amazing. That's true. That's Ooh, true. Cyclone, really nice beefy mix up there. But I think the first active frame is pretty slow. Yeah. Beefy mix up, I should say. You know? I like to see more fireball. It's kind of Just conditioning. To anger everyone in you the know? FGC who says we can't use your terms. He's got a fireball. Condition him to hold oh, shield so he can get those grabs. Okay. You know, oh, it's really weird. He went for like. He stood off the ledge and it just like <laughs> stayed in the, yeah. the animation. It's kind of like it was like a like a T spin almost. Yeah, you know? T spin. Like, I, yo, this guy's playing yeah. Tetris 99 yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't even own a switch, but like. <laughs> oh, really? Not yeah. yo. I, I can never drop a stock key ever, man. Of course, Rust is commentating. They made me say, "Our help me. Yeah. Why aren't you here, my guy? We, we need do. you. He's I need a sortie to complain about projectiles, or else I don't feel like I'm playing ultimate." Oh. <laughs> You're gonna play an ultimate. Yeah. Pan is definitely doing yeah. it right now, and he's got waft yeah. on deck. Catches him with the five finger salute. He's gonna fish for that nair. No, up though. Clock, nothing. Yeah. Luigi just, uh, I guess he's a little float. Who floated to get follow ups off that up throw? Yeah, maybe, that's maybe, maybe, maybe down maybe, throw? Yeah, I was thinking down throw. I was trying to remember what Wario's down throw is in this game, though. Is it still like the ground pound? I'm not 100%. Maybe it's kind of like sure, sits you know? on you? I don't play Wario, yeah. Know? Me neither. <laughs> I'll be downtown. Yeah, I don't want to be downtown two days in a row either. <laughs> Probably don't go Tuesdays. You don't? Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'll be going this week though. Yeah. There's no, there's no click, so I need my fix. No click this week? Yeah, I'm, that's a, true. I'm a filthy degenerate. Oh, oh wow. Calling him out Speaking of filthy degenerates, as I was about to say, Wario, quite unclean. Yeah. Panda though? Panda looking kind of nice. Panda was looking good, so Maka didn't get two stock this game, but got JV2. Definitely a little bit of improvement, maybe with the stage, maybe with his brain. Slowly yeah. coming back, but definitely would have liked to see more fireballs. He didn't use them. I don't think I saw a single one at all. Yeah, I don't think so either. And that's one of those things, like, you play Luigi and you, like, get caught up in, like, how good his normals are. Yeah. Once you start integrating the fireballs, it changes the character dynamic. Yeah. You get so much, like, he's not good at approaching, but, like, because you can threaten that space, you can make key yeah. characters come to you and use your great defensive attributes. Yes, sir. And Wario's neutral in the greatest. All he's got is really a jump. He's going to jump mm. at you. Nair doesn't have that yeah. much of a hitbox. You can really trade with it. All right. So now we have. Let's pull up the we got bracket. Safe head. Yeah, Safe Head. Uh, avocado and Safe Head. All right, so looking like we got probably got Yoshi versus Snake right now. Okay. I know Safe Head also snake. does. He put his Fox against me earlier in front of me. He's looking pretty clean, man. Definitely. Got some good characters on deck. That combo, man. I'm going to sit yeah. back. Uh, just yeah. throw his projectiles. Oh, now I'm going to switch off game two. Be right up in your face. You know, it's a good combo for sure. Avocado playing Yoshi. It's pretty good Yoshi. He's got oh, Tippy as a training partner. Been leveling up real hard with that. Putting their controls in right now. Yeah, Tippy, of course, also also very much on the come up. Got a yeah, man, he's been putting in work. A few good Ws under his belt. Do you know, did he win doubles on... Uh, yeah, him and yeah, Arius won. Yeah, yeah, it was cool. Arius is in, in center row. He's looking clean. Yeah, looking pretty clean. And uh, got a, I know Tippy picked up a W over B-Rods. Yeah, that's good. That strong PR contender himself, so definitely a solid W there. Yeah, man. B Rod's definitely, definitely been putting in work, yeah. too. You know? I think, uh, oh, yeah, Tippy got stopped by the Yonks train. Yeah, yeah. man. Yonks, definitely huge yeah, improvement yeah. in that turn. Yeah, 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 yeah no, he came man. back. We went to Revenge of the Six together. Okay. He came back in the car. He said, that's it. I'm getting good now. Yeah, yeah okay. He said, I wasn't feeling it before, but I'm feeling yeah, it now. That's he's what on I, the, he's on the I remember that. I was like, yo, this guy put in work, you know? Mm -hmm. You gotta wait for that smash click. And tell Yonks he's bad. Yo, B-Rods, have you seen Yonks? Uh, Sierra wants me to tell him he's bad. 
<laughs> no. <laughs> Sarah is definitely calling out everyone. It's... But unfortunately, Sarah catches those L's. I'm sorry, B Rods isn't helping me out, Sarah. I tried my best. But we said it on stream, so maybe he'll rewatch yeah, it. Maybe he'll rewatch it. Maybe he'll be like, yo, save it versus Avocado, that's a fire bet. Yeah, like, who doesn't rewatch stream after they've been in the tournament already and sat at the bar and watched yeah. it? But hey, that's what we do here. We play Sometimes Smash. you just want to hear the silky smooth tones of Shake and Bake X Ruska. So, yeah, you are bad. Just so you know, I'm reinstating it. Okay, so you are white out. You nice. say it or not. I was right. No, I'm shaking bake, you you're know. Both. I'm shaking bake you're, way out. You're shaking bake AKA here. Mac my cheese. And you're white out on the Discord. Yeah, right, get I'm off commentary. Oh, yo, I'm sorry, yo. Yeah, get out of here. As I leave, say, you suck. <laughs> Take the L, hold it. I'm going to beat you in a bracket. Oh, yeah. Don't forget your drink. It's all right. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't ever say it wasn't bad. We're going to be joined now by Fog on the mic. Oh, welcome. Oh, that's on my foot. One sorry. Second. Perfect. Hey, how goes it, folks? Hello. So I just noticed, um, I think every heavy has a side B grab almost. Uh, K roll. Or like an anti. I guess, yeah, you're right. Yeah. But like so many of them do. But yeah, no, there's, uh, there's Incineroar, there's Ridley, Ganon, Bowser. Wario has the command grab, just not in the same place. I mean, Isabel. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> my favorite heavy. All right, so we're seeing um, uh, Yoshi versus uh, Snake. Yeah. That's a cool tag, 13. I, actually, what I called my knee for like the longest time. Uh, I still call my knee that, actually. Charge shot missile. All right, well, we're seeing a lot of up airs. Uh, so I know historically in other games, this is a hilariously bad matchup for Yoshi because if Snake ever gets him stuck, he just dies off stage. But uh, it's probably yeah. about the same for like off stage pressure, but like Yoshi's got a yeah. lot of tools. Yo to Yoshi now. is a very different beast in this game. Yeah. Yeah, the gun thing is kind of command grab. Say, are you are speaking some facts? So there we go. I mean, every heavy has a command grab. There we go. Yeah, there you go. Except for uh, Samus and Ike and Ike. I guess Bowser Jr. as well. Yeah, oh no, no, down B, down B, down B. The the Mecha Koopa grab. <laughs> Mecha Koopa's a grab. Yeah. Oh, unfortunately, gets hit by that. Mine. He had a really good uh, early stock when he was hitting with the up airs, but it seemed to turn around really quick. Yeah, Yoshi is really good at racking up the percent, but he definitely kind of has to go for that stray kill hit a lot of times uh, once he gets um, up into the kill range. Whereas uh, Snake is a lot more, like, he has to do the same, but he's a lot more proficient at it because, you know, <laughs> his yeah. kill move is a projectile. He can detonate whenever he wants. Yep. And also, uh, at the same time, if you're using your up airs for damage, then you can't be using them to kill because they're getting stale. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's a little rough. I like the tech chase option. Also, a funny thing uh, a lot of people don't know in this game, uh, Yoshi doesn't have any regrab timer. So really? he can grab you, pummel you, and then grab you again. It's pretty crazy. You do the uh, the 64 DK infinite. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> One day. We'll find the character it works on. Yeah, oh. Thank God his grab's a little too slow for that. Oh, that shield looking lit well baked. Oh, boy. Once again, nice grenade pressure at ledge. Oh, pops him up. And there's the up air, but it's going to trade with the uh, the ground down. Oh, man, if he would have came back on the platform and up aired immediately, that would have been so crazy. Up smash, gonna clean it out. Can't be approaching Snake from directly above. Mortar is way too good of an option at stuffing that out. Also, one of the great things about this Ooh. matchup, though, for Yoshi is that uh, he can't be shield poke as easy as most people that are dealing with Shake, where they're like, hey, Snake. Where they're like, just stand by, like, C4 and grenade, and they're like, oh, first one. <laughs> where did my shield, shield go? And then I got hit. Snake trying to put on some pressure with these grenades. I think, uh, I don't know, that Nikita might have been over but I know definitely before he, uh, I think he tried to be reverse grenade and accidentally pulled out the, uh, the launcher. But uh, it worked out and just meleeed him with <laughs> the rocket. I love the Nikita to uh, cover the rollback to, like, oh, you gotta come fight me. Otherwise, uh, yeah. Ooh, wow, I didn't even see that one place. Yeah. Snake is definitely a sneaky boy in this game. Yep. Great tilts. Just a very strong character there overall. There we go. C4 slot down at ledge. The nice entire side of the stage is a no-go zone now. Yep. Ooh, Nair doing some big damage. Smash, Avocado doing a great job weaving around that with a down B. Oh, gets punched in the face by another rocket. I thought that was the yeah, F-Smash for a second. I, I really like the Snake's movement. And he's just like, you'll drop one grenade, put up an up-smash, and you'll be like, okay, this is like a no-go zone. I'm just going to back up and fire some Nikitas, get yeah. ready. Yeah, super safe, patient play. It's really good. A lot of Snakes get antsy, you know. But that's, that's how good. you have to play this Yoshi yeah, exactly. matchup. 
Oh, here comes the key. Yeah, kind of. He walled off himself with that grenade, but it ended up working out because Avocado tried to go in anyway, so he got caught by the grenade explosion. Four there and tilt bear. Oh, snake. Oh, wait, I forgot to wear. Oh, I'm surprised he detonated it. I forgot how much of a heavy snake it is, too. I guess we could say Snake's command grab is the. Uh, is <laughs> well, his grab is a command grab. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. It's just a zero damage command grab. Yeah, and it also can be passed back to you. <laughs> yeah. You know, just be like that sometimes. Top sometimes your best move just is your worst move. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Stages. I don't know. So, what do you think about the stage list? Uh. I, I want something to change, and I'm not sure what. <laughs> I want uh, I want Lilat, but I don't know if I want something to go, or if I, I just want I want Nova gone. You want Lilat. Nova gone? Because Nova is, like, so close to the Pokemon's name. I mean, yeah. I love walled stages, but that's, like, the most janky, yeah. weird walled stage ever. I it barely Unova. counts as a walled Hear stage. Hear me out. And get rid of Battlefield and make Unova a starter, and then it's just the worst thing ever, but I'd love it. Yeah. I, I like it because I feel like it's very di – like, it is very similar, but it's kind of like Pokemon Stadium's, like – Large stage medium blast zones, or you know, medium stage small blast zones. Yeah, I, just, I love that there's a small stage that's a dual plat. I I do like like the concept of Nova. I just don't like the walls, and like they're they're so brutal to some characters specifically. And it's like, oh, okay, neat. But it's not my character, so I don't care. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but like, imagine being like, uh, what's a good example? Zelda. And they're like, okay, I don't want to go to any of the Yoshis because of the slants and it'll mess up my Phantom. Yeah. And then, uh, well, I guess actually you could probably do some cool things with Phantom yeah. on slants. I think general consensus right now is Yoshi's Island is uh, probably the first stage on the shopping block if something changes. Really? Yeah. I guess so, because I mean, yeah. Smashville is just like a clean version. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, it's like, it's weird, because I find I like Yoshi's Island a lot more than Smashville, just in terms of, like, I find the Blast Zones play out cleaner. But, uh... That down here does so much damage. Oh, yeah. I, I'm always shocked every time I see it. Yeah. Frame 3, lol. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Are you serious? Snake downer? Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it rises you, so you yeah. get like the whole thing yeah, out. Yeah, so literally out of shield, three, three, three frame jump squat, three frame down air. That sounds like such a good out of shield punish, it honestly. It is pretty good. What's his nair? Do you know? Uh, no. I don't know his nair. Snake's nair has never been a good enough move for me to care. <laughs> I, uh, I didn't really care about nair for a while, and then I played online, and somebody got me with uh, down air rising into nair into forward air, and I was like, oh, wow. that's... Uh, that sounds like something I would have tried to do as a kid playing Brawl. Yeah, I'm like, that's the yeah. end of my life and my career <laughs> and stuff, so uh, yeah. see you guys next time. Yeah, nair might be good in this game. I just, I'm used to Brawl and PM where nair is like nothing. Yeah. Especially in Brawl where he literally just couldn't use it because it was too high. <laughs> like, he... <laughs> Four swings and he had the worst jump in the game. And I mean, and like the meta surrounds like Meta Knight, right? So it's yeah. like, oh, this went a little too high. Well, this move is completely <laughs> unusable. <laughs> up tilt. Gonna be a nice safe option to close out stock. Duck the Yoshi stages. See, Yoshi's story is great though. I love Yoshi's story. I I'll be honest, I like, like Yoshi's yeah. Island better than Yoshi's story. Yeah. I'm down. Like, I, I, just, I, like, I just. Can we remove Battlefield? Why that? It's the feel? stupidest thing, but I feel like it's the stupid. At least making a counter pick. Like I feel like what? I feel like it's the most polarized stage when I play okay. on it. Okay, I would actually agree with the counter pick thing. Yeah. In a sense, like you can't remove it because it's way too clean the stage. But I just I, I feel like but like that feels so much. In this what game. element makes it like the ultimate counter pick? Is it because of like um, it's of sharking the, on platforms? Yeah, sharking on platforms is super strong. And there's so many characters you can swing through the platforms. Like stuff like Fox up smash reaching through platforms. Yeah. So DJ. No, you're absolutely right on that. And then uh, someone else had like a ridiculous up smash that covers the entirety of the thing. probably Ridley. D D N. D D Gandorf and Ridley yeah. all can like cover an entire platform. Yeah. Ridley smash. is like if if Fox doesn't have the best up smash, then Ridley has the best up smash. I guess Olimar yeah. too. I think Olimar. Yeah, would call Olimar it probably. Is. Although I mean, uh, reflectable. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's that downside, but uh, it's pretty darn good. Oh, tries to go for the up air there. Just setting up, straight, setting up a bait with that uh, C4. Very close match though. He's got to steal up the kill pretty Order. early, otherwise yeah. it's gonna be yeah, hard press. Nikita. Oh, he's kind of, yeah, he gets blocked out by that platform. But this would be a great opportunity for uh, the Yoshi to get, like, a lot of up air strings. Like, stale the crap out of it, then die, then come back, and then, like, killing yeah, up nice air. fresh one. Yeah. That's how I see, like, uh, extra credit stocks. I'm always like, cool, I can stale moves and not care. <laughs> it's definitely an interesting way to look at it. I probably shouldn't be doing that, but... <laughs> I just think as much as, like, if I punch the heck out of them as much as possible, I'm going to be in a real good position for next stock. I find, like, uh, I actually get tilted when I, like, if I put them on, like, 120 or so, like, like a kill percent, and then I lose a stock, I feel like I've lost all momentum in battle. Because, like, it's so hard to combo them or, like, retake, like, <laughs> your control over them. Yeah, it definitely depends on the character, like, especially, yeah. like, 
Uh, just an easy example, like Melee Fox against Puff or whatever, where, you know, it's like yeah. you go past certain set, and suddenly now you got to fish for an honest skill setup yeah. instead, of, instead of just, you know, oh, throw out there. Absolutely. Or a situation where, like, they have, like, an, a free recovery where they're just going to come back and you can't, like, gimp them. Yeah. And you're like, oh, man, this sucks. Like, I'm just going to keep yeah. tilting them off and then he's going to come back and punish me again. Nice to see Snake's down throw still does dumb percent. Yep. Nice 11.3 on that boy. On down throw? Yeah. What? Yeah, you think that's bad? In PM, it's 14.2. That's craziness. Yeah. Also, doesn't this, like, down air go, like, 23%? Yeah, they're awesome. Like, it <laughs> does, like, crazy. as much as, like, yeah. most characters smash attacks, but it's frame three. Sunlocks you. Sunlocks you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a real important part. You can hit people with it. They call it the river dance. Well, we got a real close match here. It's anyone's game. It's one hit, two hits away. Yeah. Definitely, I do feel like this situation favors Snake so much, though, because, again, the random kill move is uh, Snake's forte. That's true. Because that, that random kill move is his neutral. Although we could have just seen that yeah. uh, Yoshi shield break down yeah, be right I, there. Yeah, I would really like. There we go. I was going to say, I want to see the C4 come out. A back throw. Back throw into the. Yeah, oh. no, nah, it's yeah, go too high. Oh, oh nice <laughs> setup, though. Yeah, it blocks, really, uh, blocks uh, the grenade off visually with the one explosion. Yeah, does the C4 detonate the grenade, or is it just detonating? Oh, uh, yeah, it, it's been detonating the grenade. Oh, pretty okay, sure. that's pretty good. So I was like, oh, this guy's got a timing, or like. <laughs> Oh, that's oh. death. Down throw. Up tilt. Oh, I was like, couldn't he have fourth thrown into it? But yeah. no need. No need. Put him to sleep. Yeah, kill confirms. We got those. Yeah. <laughs> Damon X Machina. Great game, by the way. I uh, played the demo. Got to say. Damon X Machina. Damon. Oh, that's uh, that was one of the ones in the direct, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the uh, Gundam game that looks like El Shaddai. Oh, okay. uh, it's like Armored Core fused with El Shaddai. Uh, I don't know what those are, but I know what Gundams are. <laughs> okay, it's, it's Gundam esque. Um, it's a really good game. Loved it. Uh, mobility's amazing in it. Like, tons of uh, customization. Honestly, encourage anyone to grab the demo. It has a character builder, it has a, a Gundam builder. Like, you can do a lot with the demo. I'm hearing a lot of things I like. Yeah. All right, so next we got Death Horse versus Crimlock. Who's beating Brady Town? The 1617 swing match. Armored Core is the best mech series. Thank you, Sayar. It's so good. Oh, don't wanna, don't wanna. Which Tails was that, by the way? Did you say? Did you see what Tails that was? Tails of Graces, maybe? Oh, I don't remember. <laughs> Tails of Graces, F. Round two. Yeah, I, I heard you used to play Meat Gunner. Yeah, it was Why like would for a you week. ever switch from the best top tier in the game? <laughs> <laughs> Meat Gunner is so good. That mine is like a top tier move. It is. The mine, the mine is literally what kept me playing it. I was like, there's so much sick stuff you can do with this. It's like, yeah. oh, it I'll, is a struggle. <laughs> I was labbing a footstool setup, but uh, I still got to work on it before I bring it out in bracket. But like, if I'm I terrified. get some shield breaks, uh, I'm going to be doing some fancy yeah. stuff. I got one. I did get a shield break. I don't remember how I did it. I don't remember what happened, but I know I hit him with an F smash, a charge shot, and a mi the charge shot hit him into a missile or something. Oh, my God. So I oh just yeah, straight the, up zero to death. The him. missile is nuts good. Yeah. Like, I, I personally like Stealth Burst because I like the idea of, like, oh, I'm a counterable character, except, you know, if I use this move. Yeah. yeah. Like this. No, that's not And it's so strong. Oh, it's so man. tempting. So we're going to see Ridley versus Roy. Oh, wow. Krimlock. I've never seen this guy play, but uh, he's looking pretty clean right now. In and out weaving. Always, I don't know if this is like the correct way to think about it, but I've always thought of Ridley as kind of like almost an anti-sword character. Just like, yeah, he's got a step further, right? He's uh, takes away their range advantage and makes them have to play a more honest neutral. I find like the the, the real thing that scares me about Ridley is like it, his body is the sword. The thing that scares me about Ridley yeah. is that plasma breath. Yeah, plasma breath's pretty broken, but. Um, Certainly against uh, the sword characters. His body is a sword, but because of the way he moves it, he, he like shifts his hurt box so often in so many ways. Like forward smash, he takes like a step back, then he takes a step forward. Yeah, like, that's like, the thing. Like everyone thinks like, oh, the forward smash, you know, it's got this like amazing range. It's like it's certainly not short range by any means, but it's not that yeah. it's like this amazing range move. It's that he steps back yeah. and then swings back in on you, so you're where he used to be. Yeah, it's it's the way he's moving on these platforms. Also, <laughs> Ooh, catching like, him with that great stanky leg. Nice. Uh, also, like we were saying, uh, he's covering these entire platforms with the up smash there. Seems pretty brutal. And oh, there it is. There's the, the great I'm winning setup. Yeah. Tries to catch the roll in with the down smash. 
you got to keep them honest, folks. You got to make sure you never get hit by that down yeah. throughout low. It's definitely one of those things, too. Like, to, like Krimlog probably doesn't know that that's a thing. Yeah, it's true. Even if you do know it's a thing, like, yeah. you can easily forget. Like, you just start yeah, a stock off. Like, you're like, okay, here oh comes pressure. Oh, my God, he's going to forward air me. Yeah. This isn't looking too good there. Death is showing his superiority on Otto once again. Nair getting a nice reverse hit. Going deep. Oh, what the heck? Oh, wow. <laughs> what? Going for that wild setup. That was an option. He's trying Space to flex on him at this point. Out. At least he's our, picking the toppest yeah. tier skin. Green yeah. Goblin. Green Goblin. Yeah. I love it. We got our first three stock of the day. So I, I honestly, like, I, I feel at a loss. Like, personally, I feel at a loss when I'm fighting Ridley. So I don't really know what he should be doing in this match. Because, like, down tilt up spaces you. Forward tilt's, like, the same space you have. But now it's your sour spot. Mm -hmm. Ooh, yeah. Gonna play I think uh, the thing I've had the best success with is just, uh, like, forcing a whiff. And then, like, once you can get on Ridley, he's not, he's definitely not a good character once you pass the zone. Yeah. It's just he's so good at zoning. Yeah. Well, and the thing is, like, the, the one thing is once you pass the zone, then it's so like often that they'll go for like that uh, out of shield nair and then like spread you away again and then now you're back yeah. in the zone again yeah it's really hard too especially with like a stubby character like you like you're saying you play the gunner gun, you know, it's, it's uh yeah like, or your best neutral option is the neutral air in most situations it's really hard to find it in when someone has the same neutral air twice as they're probably four times as big honestly yeah and like the worst part is like i'm gonna have to play at exactly his range but an inch away yeah. <laughs> like you know what i mean so it's like if i miss space anything i'm eating it but definitely some of the faster characters give Ridley a lot of trouble. And Roy is pretty fast, so I mean, he's definitely might be an adaptation he can make next time. But I have not seen Death Horse use uh, oh, all of yeah, them. I think Death Horse watched Frostbite as well. Oh, I, I didn't watch Frostbite, actually. I was oh, going to okay. watch it tonight. But, uh, uh, Shuton and Myron both made top eight. They made top four, rather. Spoilers. Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, but uh, I heard some good things about uh, a lot of people playing. I, I honestly I love how wild the meta is right now for ultimate because like we shouldn't be thinking that we understand this game 100% no, yet. Like, absolutely it's not. way too early for that. Yeah, I, the only tier list I've seen that I've agreed with is a guy made one and it had all like 75 characters and just uh, not enough data yet. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, okay. I, in general I, I totally like I, I think like we have some data on some characters. We can see like obviously like this character is really good, this character really good, but it's like we don't know how they're going to evolve. So it's like current heroes yeah. I mean, rather than projected future yeah. potential. The, the way I've always fancied it, the way I've always fancied it is it's really easy to figure out the worst characters in the game. And it's really easy to figure out the best characters in the game. Yeah. But there's always going to be like, once you get into like high to mid, there's such a slog of characters that, you know, you don't know what their strengths are, maybe how they're supposed to be played correctly. And there will be characters, of course, over time that will become top tier because we're going to figure out new strategies with them or new things that they can do. Yeah. Low key, though, I, I have a really tough time deciding who's the worst character in this game. I feel like everyone has so much potential because it's still so, like, early. Like, I was at first, I was like, oh, maybe it's Bowser Jr. But then I see, like, a couple things, and I'm like, okay, maybe not. Yeah. <laughs> and then, like, I was sure it was Kirby for so yeah. long. And then I'm like, you know what? Kirby's got some yeah. cool stuff. I think it was Brawler before the patch, from what I heard. Because, I mean, they buffed I, 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 I disagree entirely. Because, okay. like, I, as someone who played Brawler, like, Brawler is, like, kind of bad. But I think I still think before patch, Brawler was still better than Sheik is. Okay. That's so. a fair point. Because, like, that forward smash is she's depressed. Sheik is one tweak away from being a great character. Yeah. Like, she's like, just give her a kill setup of some sort. Also, let's kill all of her grab or her grab combos, which is like, what? It's a combo character. <laughs> how, how do I do things now? And then, like, the worst was, uh, to me, like, the nail in the coffin was, we're going to take off the uh, free fall from Grenade. But if you do it near ledge, you still die. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, why? Ooh, excuse me. But yeah. So we're seeing uh, Death Horse's Olimar. I wonder how much we're going to see it in bracket actually today. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we've got Queen Anne coming up against Safe Head now. All right, Duck Snake Hunt. versus Duck Hunt, the battle of setups. The legend returns. <laughs> I have to think that this must be in uh, 
what's it called? Uh, I don't want to think finger. about this matchup. <laughs> I don't uh, want to think about anything to do with it. Like, Snake is weird because historically he does actually struggle against a lot of projectile characters. He's very good at it, zoning. Like, it's true, but like yeah. Duck Hunt's projectiles aren't true yeah, projectiles they're very because they're like different. setup projectiles. Yeah. Like, Can would lose to like if Grenade blows up, yeah, Can it's gone. Can. Uh, it's really it'll be inter really interesting to see how grenades interact with Clay Pigeon. I think from what I've seen in the game, Clay Pigeon should just like eat through it, them. It all depends because uh, Clay Pigeon's like mine. Uh, it's got super armor on the first few frames of it, like leaving Duck Hunt, and then afterwards it becomes like a very fragile projectile. Yeah. But it's got like I think it's got six hitboxes. That the thing is ridiculous. <laughs> it's like you shoot the Clay Pigeon, that's one. The Clay Pigeon shatters, that's two. Then the, the shards hit you, and then there's like three, four, five, six. Yeah. Certainly be interesting. I think we're all about to learn. Oh yeah, and the clay pigeon itself is a hitbox. <laughs> oh yeah. Can't forget that. Who's playing? Russia. Oh, I'm playing you. Oh, we play each other. Nice. You go. All right. So, the more stadium. Neutral starter or not, as we're starting to hear the descent come out from the community. But, uh, oh, really? They're starting yeah. to finally like realize it may not be a neutral. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I think people still like it as a neutral, but I think people have finally realized that maybe they should be picking in every matchup. I haven't, I haven't exactly seen um, uh, like recent like tournaments results and stuff like that. But like, it's funny because like everyone's like, oh, this stage is not neutral because it like favors. Uh, like runaway characters that favors projectiles and stuff like that, but I'm like, projectiles aren't dominating the meta right yeah. now, and we're always picking this thing. What are you talking about, man? Did you not see Tweet camp out Leo with Wario? Yeah, but that's not. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way you're gonna convince me. No, yeah, there was projectile. no camping whatsoever. In that set, it's just a lot of brawling. Oh wow, that was really good off oh, the uh, feedback uh, F smash. So we've seen Anne. She's been able to find just. Find her spacing, been able to force the issue with her projectiles. Yeah, and, and like seeing her now, like she's even better than she was before with the can control and stuff like that. Like Duck Hunt can do some nutty things. Oh, Duck Hunt's a sleeper. Nared top. right through the mortar. So that's a that's a thing. It's a very good thing. Yeah. Did it break the mortar? Or yeah, it just broke the mortar from what I saw. El Gringo coming out. I'm not able to find the mark. Yeah, now that those Ooh. now that those kill like Duck Hunt's so much scarier of a character. It's like now he just like yeah. camps you out of range. Is like oh yeah. Yeet. I think we're at like 23 seconds. We gotta watch out for that explosion soon. Oh, nice up tilt call out on that landing. Safehead's being forced to go aggressive in this matchup, and he's showing that he's definitely capable of doing mm. just that. But that can. Yeah, great, great bounce off the. Such the mine. a great roadblock. Yep. It's all about like how the can interacts with the explosions, how Queen Anne reacts to it, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Oh, oh, that, that was sick. Very nifty. All right, Clay Pigeon coming out. Oh wow. I never noticed that there was actually a, a line that these uh, the gunners. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's one of those details. Okay, there's the oh, can. Oh, grab God. release okay. can. Here comes the can again. Does Duck Hunt have any kill throws when the back throw at like super high? Uh, I want to say she's killed me with a throw before, but I haven't seen Queen Anne play in a long time. Yeah, I, I feel like I haven't seen her out for a while. Yeah. Anyway. Okay. Oh, careful, Snake. That thing is running out of time. Who oh, catches a grenade in his mouth does Duck Hunt. Oh, that's okay. It won't hurt the dog that much. <laughs> He'll be fine. He's a cartoon dog. <laughs> <laughs> He's a, uh, what's it called? A uh, parody character or whatever? All right, here we go. We're going to find out. Okay, down down throw. I think no. Up yeah, air going to steal it away. That up air is super strong. All of Duck yeah. Hunt's aerials are pretty pretty good from what I see as far as kill power goes. I feel like, oh, can can just fully tank the Nikita. That's not the interaction I expected out of that. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, you can't really blow up can. So, like, it all comes down to like, did you knock it off stage, or did you knock it off stage and they can't be to bring it back or zap her, I guess, to bring it back. <laughs> oh wow, Rico just shoots taking out, out yeah. the missile. So, yeah, oh, you got wow. you got a multi-million dollar rocket launcher. That's cool. I got a revolver I got from the store down the street. Seriously. I, okay, what I've never noticed is that the, the, the gunners have like their eyes like flare up. Like, little, oh, really? Yeah, like the, the, the uh, old one eyes. Like the <laughs> one more question. Wee. Big back throw, not quite strong enough to take it. Those oh. orders coming in deep. Thank God for that uh, duck hunt change with the diagonal air dodge. Oh, I, I, I really liked uh, duck hunt came out diagonal air dodge out of a P. Or oh. air dodge at all, anyway. Before it was just and like Duck Hunt just couldn't before it was even though every other character could. Yeah, it was like a dead in the water yeah. like recovery, honestly. Honestly, oh, like, going for that shield break. 
I really percent. love the dying eye dodge in this game. The sense are equaled up. <laughs> and finding two hits and suddenly has another 30% deficit. Snake going off stage. You gotta be careful. That C4 is right there. What a good and trap though. around it. Force him to go like really high, get him with the up air while he's high up. Not to pick up some of these strategies. Coming down through the mortar. And going out, bouncing around everywhere, but he gets deflected back for a dam. Safe head looking for an option. Can't find his way in right now. Oh, gets hit by the can. Not going to be enough. Off the shot, too. There comes one more. Oh, catches out the air dodge. Forces the air dodge with the can. Catches with the up air. That's great. Yeah. Plus, like, the, 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 the gunman shot on the can seems to stay straight up. Yeah. All right, so where would you go for counter pick here? It's a great question. I mean, <laughs> honestly, I'd actually probably prefer to play on FD. I I was, was thinking Unova. Really? Yeah, I think maybe you can get some nice like early kills with I. I it's hard to say though, because I feel like now that I say it, I feel like Safehead is getting very like clean over the top kill percents, where like Queen Anne has been finding those like strong Randy hits that are just killing like yeah. just barely. So going to a smaller stage would probably actually be disadvantageous. Yeah, I, I just find FD is like a good call because I, I find Duck Hunt's really strong when you can put uh, the can on a platform and like when it can like bounce around in different ways. So like I, I just like FD, so it's like, okay, yeah. it's clean. I know where the can's going. No problem. Yeah. The one thing, the, like Clay Pigeon will take up so much of FD. That's true. But the too. grenades will too. So it's yeah. very, it'll it would definitely change like the entire dynamic of the matchup. I feel like that it's is. like whoever's more yeah. confident in their... Yeah. Uh, it's one of those Zone things that in a best of three, I don't want to find out, you know? Yeah, that's fair enough. Although it is a local, so you should be doing yeah, that. So that's actually really bad advice for me. But. The, yeah, <laughs> invest in your future. Yeah. Always uh, risk the match for the long run. Yeah, we're not here to win. We're here to improve. Yep. But also we're here to win, and we're going to be mad if we don't. <laughs> Shout out to Ottawa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, my. Queen Anne's Dutch, you still have the grenade in your mouth. So I haven't Gringo. seen Safehead before. Uh, has he been coming out a lot? Safehead? I don't recall seeing him before. Although I, White, White don't knew him, so I'm assuming he's been here before. So Order really one. Like there song. we go. Nice. I really like the snake. Yeah, he's definitely clean. Very patient. Shoutouts to Killian. We miss you at the weeklies. Come back soon. There we go. The up air find that kill. Duck Hunt's aerial so strong. Yep. I feel like I say it's, after it's, a kill that 160, so maybe not. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I honestly I feel like it's just up air. Like, yeah, up, up air kills like 130, I'd say, and then everything else is like 150. You know, like. Plus, up air always has the advantage. It's so very easy to find like a high up air in relation to like finding a deep back air forward air. Like this might not be the match to do it in, but I feel like uh, Queen Anne could benefit a little bit from following them off stage a little bit more, and then like throwing up the can, doing nair and stuff like that, like because. Duck can go deep. Yeah, no, against Snake, that is actually exactly what you want to do. His recovery is so slow and linear. If you have, like, a nice, big, solid single-hit move, just throw it out. Yeah, I'm just not sure if Nair will break the uh, super armor yeah, cipher, but then again, you could just uh, blow up the cipher. Yeah, if it does, if a move does 8%, it's, it's a knockback eight? threshold. Okay. You need to do 8% minimum, or it won't rattle him, and it needs to do a certain amount of knockback. So I think her forward air should be able to. Yeah, I, I feel like it would. Certainly over 100. Yeah. I didn't know about the knockback wrestle. That's interesting to know. Yeah. Oh. I'm assuming it's knockback, because that's just uh, how it's worked in every other game. And yeah. the 8% was something that uh, Budget told me. That's fair. If anyone knows the uh, stats on uh, Snake Cypher armor, please let us know. There you go, catches the up air. Not quite. I don't know if that was like a sour hit, or maybe it just wasn't the right state position she needed for that kill. Oh, no. Oh, going deep. I was probably, yeah, I'm surprised Anne has the can over there. I would oh. thought she'd maybe have reset it and uh, brought it over to put on that platform. It's it's kind of hard, though, because I feel like when you're, you're pressing B with the zapper, when you're moving can, like, you can't really move Duck Hunt himself, like, yeah. very well. So it, it's kind of weird. Definitely a very interesting character dynamic. Grenade, oh, my God, Gringo is down. I'm so glad that Raito showed us this character is, like, godlike at the end of Smash 4, where everyone put him at, like, bottom and low tier and stuff. Randy F smash? Well, it's not Randy. Run back F smash. Yep. Saw the coming in and uh, punched hard. Wow, that that mine er, that grenade didn't even move the can. <laughs> Just like, wh what was that? Oh no! Oh, and it oh. looks like she got a reverse hit when she was searching for it, and the can bounced back on her and did some fat percent. 
And suddenly Save had looking in control of this game. I like it. He's not pulling those projectiles. He knows he needs to be moving right now. He needs to be staying really conscientious of the pigeon, of the gringos. A good use, though, there on the C4 detonation to, like, reset the timer and take out a gunman. I didn't. I was, like, worried about, like, the timer. I'm like, oh, you're running out? Man. Okay. On. The one-frame grenade pull. There comes the cannon. Clashing with the cypher. Ooh. Gets busted in the kneecaps, does Snake. Pigeon coming down. Is there a kill confirmed? No, forward air not going to be enough. So maybe forward air. I don't know if it would break the armor. Oh, oh. goes for the up smash. Not the smash you needed to finish that stock. Now, an up tilt will seal it up out. Up tilt very can. much online. Dash tag going through. Oh my god, he's lost his hat. Can someone help him, please? <laughs> up tilt. Yeah. And, okay, big change. With Snake's up tilt change, that change where they made the. Uh, oh, oh, there we go. The key to low. Yeah. Nice. So a really huge change for Snake, actually. Again, coming from the smelt and budget. But uh, the strong hit of his up tilt now hits through the battlefield platform when it didn't before. Oh my god. So before god. it would be yeah, the sour yeah. hit it when it got does. through. So now it's the, now you can get the, the full kills on battlefield. So that's a really. Yeah. Actually makes battlefield such a better stage for Snake. A, a now. perfect height for spacing, yeah. too. It's the same thing for Gunner. <laughs> up tilt is brutal. Oh. Frame five. Gunner up tilt is so good. Combos yeah. into up air sometimes. Yeah. Cool. Oh man, coming in up air. Gunner's up like, air is the coolest move in the game. It really is, but it's so. It's so bad, but it's so it, good. But nothing, it's so bad, but it's like, so good. Me, it's so like down bad. throw. It's like, oh cool, down throw like is perfect thing. I'm also like lagless. It's yeah. like they're also lagless. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's like what? <laughs> yeah, down throw. Uh, Gunner's down throw would be perfect on any other character. Also, interesting thing to note with the uh, the gunmen in this game when they lo lose their hats and they're in that like uh, injured thing. If you wait to like almost the max timer, then hit them, it resets the timer, so they're like vulnerable again, and okay. then you can do it again. So it's you like, can't pull them out again. Yes, yeah, so you can like jab lock the the gunmen, but I think it's only a maximum of three times or a certain like hard timer. Probably three times, I'm guessing. It's just like normal jab lock, if I had to guess. Yeah, because it's like there's like uh, I think it might be three after they fall though. Okay. Because like there's also the yeah, frame yeah. of like them losing their pants or like their hat or whatever. Yeah. Gunmen losing a lot of clothing. Yeah. So we see the FB pick coming out and deciding she's the one who's gonna gonna take it here. Uh, yes. Confident in projectiles. We yeah. did see Safe Head last game. He opted more into a movement heavy snake, and that was really what did it allowed uh, help him win. He's gonna have to cover this field in grenades. He's gonna want to keep up with the center. That was such a lie of a Oh my oh, god, he's so dead. She do it. Queen Head says, "I know exactly where you're going. Come here, boy." Oh yeah, yeah. Careful jump over there. Yeah, we're gonna have to see this like field littered in nades. Oh, there we go. Gunman stuffing that grenade. That's another again another huge uh, interaction with the matchup. It's gonna dictate how this match, especially on this yeah. stage, how it goes. It's almost like uh, like Duckman doesn't put out a lot of projectiles, but he counters projectiles very hard. I, I felt like a similar thing back when I was playing like other projectile characters, like Robin and stuff like that. Uh, not so much Ivy Sword, I mean, Razor Leaf Bird. Yeah, yeah, lol. <laughs> Transcendent, what's up? Yeah, it's like, oh, you have a tree? What if it cut through it? <laughs> a leaf through a tree. But, uh, yeah. In Ooh. general, like, uh, specifically with Robin, when I played this matchup, it was, like, nightmarishly hard to get around these projectiles. I'm surprised that Safe had didn't elect to detonate the C4. Yeah. Because, uh, Anne was definitely standing right on top of it. Possibly forgetting where it was, yeah. or losing track of it for a few seconds. It does happen, folks. There you go. And finding that setup. If Duck Hunt does get that projectile on you, it's really easy for Duck Hunt to find a follow up if he catches you with shield. I, jabs. I gotta say, I respect these uh, these snake mains like crazy, especially when it like zooms in, zooms out. Like I don't have a good like depth perception when it comes to that stuff, so I'd be like, I lost where my C4 is. <laughs> Let me try to find it. Also, is that a change from Brawl uh, that it doesn't blink the whole time? Yeah, anymore? it is. Yeah, Brawl Brawl's uh, C4 was like very easy to see. I kind of missed that. Yeah, I, I was. See, I didn't even realize that they'd made that change before. So like, I was fighting Mike, and I'd get like so tilted. So I'm like, where did the C4 come from? Like, why can't I see it? And then I found out it's just it, it stops blinking. It's just a little black dot. The worst is like you know where it is. You're like, oh, it's on the platform. And then like something happens, something happens, and you're just yeah. standing still, and you're like, oh god, <laughs> and you explode. For me, the worst is <laughs> I always I forget how big it is. Oh yeah. Oh my god, the explosion range is yeah. insane. Plus there's the the friendly fire thing. Where it's like it doesn't hit snakes in the same range it hits you. Ooh. It gets vaporized. And that and the will answer be to can she do is yes she can. Alright, so now it's uh it's us. It's a commentator fight. Alright, commentator battle. Are we playing on stream? Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. Thank you. We're important. Yeah. I already I I punched it in. What was that? Uh 
Just, you can just call me whatever you guys want to call me. CVN Fox, fine. Yep. Got to give a shout out to my sponsor. Shout outs to Coven and uh, the other Coven member try. Yeah, that's right. Why don't Yeah, we are. Yo, Kyle, we're on stream, right? No? Okay. All right. Well, see you guys. Have a good night. I apologize. Yeah, why are they putting white on stream? That's my question. Yeah, I'll do it. Which side do you want to go? First side. So, we'll see. Okay. Shake and bake. Shake and bake? Yeah, baby. Right. Was some solid duck on play. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I guess yeah, you saw was, it was on stream. It was very nice. All right. Uh, do we have the bracket up here? Yes, we do. So we're going to see... Uh, he said his name was Shake and Bake today. He's under uh, Mac and Cheese. Oh, okay. Uh, so Mac Yayo and Mac My Cheese. Okay. Yeah. If you want to punch those in for me, sure. I apologize. Cool. Uh, I think he wants shake and bake. Yeah. <laughs> that looks beautiful. Okay, let's get. So this is, actually I should just double check. Winner's round two. Very nice. Oh yeah, it's already like that. Sick, yeah. so. Say if you're still in the <laughs> chat. What's up? Thanks for coming Oh, hey, how's here. it going? See Zeke is there. Howdy, nice. howdy. And uh, someone cheering for Abacado. That Yoshi is a, a legend, let me tell you. Yeah, I, I missed that. Uh, uh, I missed that match. I didn't it go? quite catch it, but I know from fighting him at GCS and previous, he's really crazy. Nice. Alrighty. It's uh, it's cool. How OBS is full screen. Make sure that the stream. Well, everything seems to be good in the battle station. So nice. we don't have to stop and start anything. Like like sometimes. Uh, oh, that's the other menus. So yeah, we have the legendary Yeo and Way yeah. out here. I'm, I'm hearing my, I mean, I think I'm being talked about over there. Oh. A very popular duck hunt, let me tell you. Yeah. We got Inkling in the background doing the, the NBA spin <laughs> over and over. It's yeah, pretty I impressive. It. I've been playing that game online. It's infuriating, let me tell you. NBA spin? No. <laughs> Splatoon. <laughs> oh. Sorry, but, but you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Uh. Very, very scary game. Um, I feel more at home with Smash. Yeah, that's fair. All right, so. Okay, so this is the uh, the matchup that oh. I expected to see. Yeah. I was talking to Yeo, and he said that this was also the matchup he expected. He's feeling the crom? Yeah. This is good. We got the Sonic. We might see a, a DK come out. Uh, spoilers. Ooh, okay, I'm fine with that. Can't start? Okay, maybe controller issue. <laughs> Alright. Why not saying issues with herself? It's all good. Two guys having some fun. Um, so if Town & City is a starter stage, definitely one of the biggest ones you can go to yeah. uh, right off the bat. Plenty of room to run around, lots of stuff you can do on the platforms. Honestly, one of the only remaining stages with hazards off that still have moving platforms, if you go to Fountain of Dreams, it's yeah. stationary, Smashville stationary, not saying FOD is legal, but just to put that into perspective, uh, it gives this stage a unique flavor, and I hope it stays a starter in future installments. I'm pretty sure it's not going anywhere, but just yeah, my personal opinion. Uh, I used to really dislike it, but... Um now I, I played on it a bit more and on like uh, friendly setups with like random all. Okay. Yeah. Like the rotation of the legal stages. Yes, exactly. And I don't hate it as much, but it's not. I don't think it's a bad stage. I think it's just not my preference. Yeah, it's certainly much bigger than it was in Smash Four, so you will be living quite a while. Yes. All right. So here's some bands coming out. 
Town City is unfortunately banned. And we're going to PS1. I see. Very nice. Okay, so uh, Sonic and a Calm. Yeah, this is going to be interesting. Um, of course, you know, Sonic, fastest ground speed as far as I'm aware. Um, also thing alive. Yep. Oh, yeah, yeah, fast thing alive, you know. Rocking the dark, the Shadow of the Hedgehog skin, I guess. And yeah. uh, Eo going to be swatting at the air quite a bit, trying to knock him, uh, knock him down, because those approaches can be terrifying. Uh, but so far, you know, 34%. Oh. Yeah, um, me, uh, Shake and Bake, and Yeo actually did a bunch of practicing yesterday. Yeah, I think uh, you told me that earlier. It's very yeah. nice. Uh, you know, practice sessions are always good, helpful to the community. Very good. Thank uh, you for hosting those. Yeah. You, uh, you three are. Uh, but in that, yeah, and let's see if it uh, if it goes. It, you know, yeah, it helps out these it's two. It's kind of going to be weird because like we're going to see a match of two people who really know each other. I yes. know that, uh, that we played a lot of secondaries and that sort Training of thing. Sesh, yeah. But uh, apparently, this match happened a bunch. Okay, interesting. So w when that happens, when two you know close compadres fight, they usually know each other's habits and. Uh, it, it is hard to kind of iron them out for a tournament to try and act like a completely different person because it's out of your comfort zone. So we'll see if yeah. these two can kind of recognize uh, the things that they've been both historically been going for. Uh, but right now, Sonic uh, trying to turn things up here. Yeah, I think Yeo's game plan is to uh, is to use the disjoint of the sword to like to, to stuff approaches. Yeah, but it's so fast. Oh. But it is really fast. Like oh. so Sonic, a sprinting Sonic at you, or even a spin dash, can uh, kind of uh, prompt a response, even if you don't feel like you want to. It kind of forces you to push buttons sometimes. Yes. Oh, look at that! The homing attack. And uh, oh wow, dash attack on the platform. Uh, Sonic is living though, but uh, oh, another dash attack or homing attack. Sorry, got know the lingo. Uh, but uh, you know. Shake and Bake about to overtake him. Wow. wow! So it's three stocks to one right now, but as Yeo has told us earlier privately, he just needs one game to warm up. So uh, hopefully <laughs> hopefully this is, uh, you know, just him waking up a little bit. Oh, good shield. So really, Shake and Bake doesn't need to do much more than just kind of bait. Uh, bait. Oh my gosh. Because uh, when you have a comfy lead, you know, two stocks to one, and the percent's still pretty low on Sonic here. Uh, yep. Just kind of harass him, play with him, get some percent. Go for the timeout if you need yeah, to, right? like, so, like, everything is gravy at this oh. point. Extra. Extra credit, but missing that homing attack. Yeo going in for the poke. Dodging the forward smash. Let's it rip. Bit too early. Ha! Huh. Okay. Oh, jab into jab. Let's go. Yeah, I think that was supposed to be a jab, in, a jab into uh, smash Rar back here. Oh! Okay, back throw is going to put him in a precarious situation. Spring, oh, get slammed down. Yeah. Oh, boink. One thing that like he has to be cognizant, yeah, has to be cognizant of is the spring because mm. it gives from like if you don't have a jump, you just die. Yeah. Okay, nice down tilt. Sonic getting a lot of mileage out of those homing attacks this game. Won't really kill you unless it's fully charged, but it's yeah. annoying because it's quick. All right, fully charged spin dash. Oh my gosh, lets it rip like a Beyblade. And he bounces him off the stage with the yeah. spring. You called it in. Oh my goodness. Yeah, for sure. Shake and bake, taken. Game one of this winner's round two round. All right. It's pretty oh, do sick. We, do we have the names on the right side? Uh, Let me do a quick check arena. Oh, oh I keep hitting that. Uh, Yayo and shake and bake. I believe so. I believe Yayo is uh, player one. A death horse in the back. Inkling still going for the world record of longest B ball spin. Exactly. That's uh, quite a talent. And, uh, you know. All right, Smash Roll. Very nice. Yeah, we're, uh, we're definitely going to see the DK here. Oh, premonition. Oh, wait, maybe. Oh. He's thinking he is actually thinking hard. Oh, wow. Yeah. All right, you called it and you're like a fortune teller. Yo. Yeah. Okay, so a very different dynamic in this one. Uh, DK being a big bundle of joy. Hey, Blazer, it's going good. How's it going with you, dude? Winner's round two right now. 
Exactly. So. All right. So oh, I have played a lot against uh, Yeo's DK, and it's definitely a force. He's worried that it's not tournament ready, but I sort of disagree. All right. That's good. Good to disagree. Oh, I'll be gonna clank with that, and uh, give him a bit of an opening position there. Yeah. Like it's kind of like a, a the Ganon syndrome, where all you really need is like one read, and that yeah. read is a grab in this case. Ah. You know, grabs pretty much well known throughout the Smash, uh, Smash chronologically as being the best or chronology. Yeah. Um, grabs are just good if you can get a kill off of a grab. The fact that you know shielding is so strong. I mean, shield grabbing a bit nerfed in this game for sure, but you know yeah. it's it's hard to say no to a good grab, right? You can really make or break a character. And oh, here we go. Are we yeah. gonna see it? Carries him off and just yeah. taps him out of there. My goodness, it's pretty sick. All right, two down tilts. Three, four. <laughs> so Sonic's struggling a little bit here, but nice donkey kick. Donkey kick. To Fitting the donkey for Donkey Kong. Kong. All right, nice back air. Oh, a little bit deep. Ooh, wow. Took a nap at 2 p.m., just woke up. I know that feeling, Blazer. Sometimes you just want to go for rest, and then it's dark out. It's like, whoa. oh, yeah. almost getting that down. That's a bit scary. He's definitely got some range with his long arms. Uh, Sonic saying, you know, I got a noodle of my own, but not quite the length. And that back here is going to take it. Let me just check. So it's three stocks to one. This is a very different from the first game where yeah. Shake and Bake had a, a sizable lead, but now, you know, trying to turn things around, taking that first stock off of uh, DK. Two more to go for Sonic here. Yeah. Um, oh, one for the windup. One thing to definitely look out for is the um, is like the suicide grab. Yes. Uh, you can if if you don't care about living and you're up a stock, like as the go game, crazy. You can, yeah. You can do some crazy, crazy things. All right. Maybe we'll see it here. I think it's already at like regular. Uh, regular death percent, probably. Yeah. He wants to. Okay, tilting. All right, Shake and Bake trying to start something up, but that back air has really been a force this game. Oh, touching the shield. Okay, I like that. That does have some super armor on it, I do believe. Yes. So it's not the worst move to throw to neutral. It's still scary. Oh my gosh, <laughs> 20 hits pretty much. Yeah. The rapid fire, and he wants the suicide. Throws him so deep. And he still jumps up to say, hey, you know, I'm living. Uh, I'm here. Right, so it's 1-1. One, one. Winners round two set. Getting a little bit scary here uh, for both players. They both seem to have adapted. But you know what? That Donkey Kong, um, it really comes down to can, can white out focus and recognize, you know, li list the check marks off. What did he do wrong? Definitely yes. that back air was giving him the, the fingers. And we saw two kills off of a grab. Yeah. Um, maybe sticking to center stage might be a bit of a better game plan. Or maybe just trying to avoid those grabs because it is DK, you're right. It's basically. That's one of his win conditions, dude. Just get the shield grab. There's also mash harder. As Ma the yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm a bit of a stick spinner myself, but yeah. uh, whatever can get you out of grabs, you know, use it as much as you can. Mash hard, spin hard. No turbo controller, so that's not allowed. Yeah. Okay. Both players just taking a, I think he was taking a sip, drink, getting their playlist ready on their phones, baby, let's go. <laughs> it's always nice to have, uh, you know, your favorite playlist going, pump yeah. you up, give you the hope you oh, need. It's and we got the game. Moss Giant. Oh my gosh, the big green one. Looks cool. Alrighty. Town and City, the big one. Yeah. Players start off by dashing back and forth, and who's going to get the first strike advantage? Oh, the tornado on the ground going to take it. It's not bad for something with super armor, yeah. but like, I don't know. One one move that I really find frustrating to deal with on Donkey Kong is um, the side move. Yeah, because that's a bit scary when it buries you. Yeah, because it buries uh, shield breaks and oh, has super armor. shield break, doesn't it? Yeah, so like that combination of those three things, I. I feel is very strong. Yeah, a no shield zone indeed when he's pulling that one out. I feel like a lot of the heavy characters just have one of those conditions to get a shield break or yeah. massive shield damage for sure. Oh, I love that RAR back air. That was really nice. And Sonic being taken for a ride again. 
but saying no, instant retaliation with a homing attack. That was terrifying. Ooh! Okay, DK is like a bit... <laughs> he's not in a, such a bad oh, position. Oh, got the with, grab. Oh, oh my gosh. Dips. Oof. He's got us a decent amount of that donkey punch charge right now. All right, good uh, forward smash by Whiteout. Oh my, oh my gosh! Doesn't even care, just saying, I'm gonna style on you. He gimped him and then he went for the down air, like, ah, eh, way past cool, Sonic Yeah. Say. Well, like, he didn't have the stock advantage, so I'm no, not quite yeah. sure why he the, would the, go for that. I mean, he's still got the clip if he wants it, but. Yeah, that's true. See if he can land here. There are no plat, oh, no, now the platform's gonna play. Um, okay, good shield. No response though, just trying to get out of that corner. Good homing oh, attack please. into back air. Whoa! Jump back spinning, that was sick. It looked very, uh, very juicy. Yeah, not sure I've seen that before. It was, uh, it was crisp. <laughs> okay, dash dancing. Once again, that homing attack proving to be a bit of a nuisance, just with how quick it can be. Not much damage or knockback, but it's like a, a love tap, you know? A bit more Especially damage. when it's part of a combo. Oh, yeah. Cause it, it kind of just follows on for you, right? Like it locks on. Oh my gosh, can he land? Okay, if he gets a grab at ledge, it could be, you know, game. Yeah, with that much rage too. You could dash attack. Oh, he went. Oh my gosh, what's going on? <laughs> Recovers. Back throw. This, this could is do a back it. Throw. Oh, almost, oh, almost. Okay. okay, but he opts to go high. Both landing on the platform. Oh, oh my goodness. Yo, near death experience. Oh my gosh, these two players are playing around each other so well. Yayo and Whiteout. No can, yeah, no one can land. Uh, no one can land safely without cringing. That's like. Uh. <laughs> oh my gosh, the forward smash outranging the side B. Oh, but he has to be careful not to get grabbed. Oh, oh, there it is. Oh man, that was an insane set. Keep clicking that. I apologize. So. Yo, yeah, that was some. That's some sick stuff. Anyways, we're gonna go to game cam, sorry. But a big crowd around, congratulating how crazy that game was. Both players really put in the work. Uh, White yeah. was adapting near the end, but uh, Yayo, you know, the, the switch worked. That was smart. It did. <sighs> Man, uh, definitely. Okay. Yeah. DK's. Ooh. On stream or off stream? Okay. All right. Well, I'll be seeing you guys next Good time. Luck. And I'll get See out of here later. for a second. got another good set coming up for you. We got B-Rods versus Marco Tech. Let's see, this is winner's round three. And I am your commentator, Rust. That's a good enough name. I'll just be Rust. Rust got more like Hunska. Say yard. Say facts, my guy. Ooh. Hello, it's Blazer. Hello, Blazer. How long ago is that? Can I see timestamps? No, I cannot. Wait, because I definitely can. How do I do this? Timestamps. 7.30. Oh, that was not that long ago. Never mind. For myself, I love that tag. Uh, chat, what is popping tonight, boys? Is there anyone in here other than Sayar? 
please. You are all I need, but you're not all I want. You know, like I only need water, but as a gamer, I want Mountain Dew. And uh, minorities to be oppressed, but uh, that doesn't reflect the views of the stream. Wow, we got a new follower today, boys. Tippy Tim. Is that, is that, is that just our Tippy? Probably. All right. Let's see what character. Yeah, everything's good. Yeah, yeah. Let's see what character Marco's feeling right now. He's definitely got a. He's got a very deep arm arsenal. He has all trains controls. He's now on that uh, attack cancel stuff. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what I'm saying. I don't really know what it is, but he told me it lets him cancel dash attacks into back airs or something like that. And I mean, that sounds really good. Bowser has a really good back air. So, cool. Are you also banning Battlefield and Yoshi's Story? I <laughs> got And I would like a friend, so come here. I am joined by the one, the only, GCS 14 champion, Kraken Death Horse. Hello. I guess I'll just uh, sauce you in on the... Uh, switch your names. Switch your names, yeah. No one ever wants to do it. No way I punched it in the first time. Okay, so we'll see the Inkling come out. Yeah, of course. Marco Marcos dabbled in a few much. characters, but I mean... He, he, he's mostly on Inkling. Yeah. Inkling is the best character I've seen him use, and the character he's seen so, comfortable with. GCS 14, he took B-Rods. He, he took game one on B-Rods, and then took him last in game two. Like, it was really close. I'm guessing game three was a bit of a momentum killer. Oh, yeah, we don't talk about yeah, game Yeah, I, I know how it is. With this, especially with the super heavies in this game, they... Ooh. Yeah, you give him an inch and then they take your life. Look at this, Markov's movement is so good with Inkling. I like it now, he's using the spot bombs a bit more proactively to try to trap people on the ledge, it looks like. That's nice. It's definitely a, a solid improvement to the game. It will help him a lot. Oh, very nice yeah, bomb right there. right there. Oh, deep back air, I love it. All right, Still can we get one jump. more? Okay, yeah. Very so nice read right there. Just playing conservative, just doing what he needs to do. You know you should take a big risk when you're this far ahead. Although Inkling, not the greatest killer in the game. And, uh, I'd, I'd like to see Marco uh, roller when the uh, B Rods is doing that. The, uh, just the up these back to see. I'd see it. Alright. Oh, brave roll. That's why he's in roller there, great? actually. No, I, I thought he was going to go. Splatmon coming out, forcing a little bit higher recovery. Going for the two frame of the F smash, not going to find it. Once I D and it's over. Yeah. Ooh, oh, yeah, that back is so <laughs> That's so scary. Yeah. That'll kill at like 80. It doesn't need that. <laughs> All this rage and 100% on Inkling to kill. Oh, oh, very nice. nice. First kill from Marco. Let's okay. go, Marco. Commentator bias, I don't care. I want Marco. <laughs> That's fine. Me. It's okay to have biased commentary as long as we can be biased for we'll eat, we'll like one each. So I'll be biased <laughs> for B-Rods. Okay, I have... Uh, I, I, I'll, I'll try not to be too much biased. Just, I, I'm just going to cheer for the underdog every time, no matter what. Like, even though, like I'm driving this guy home, but like, you know. I like seeing new people win. I like seeing oh, that just went true to fire and it didn't even hit him. Yeah, it looks like the fire just did a nice little deflection. But, uh, nice, but almost got a full advantage. lap here, and that's where you want to be. That's, oh, you know, that, that, that yeah. should have been a roller. I mean, that cushion against the super heavyweights feels so good. Cause it's like, sure, they still have all their jank kill power. Like, oh, you know, still surviving yeah, that. Great guy in that fair. Like, you know, you get hit by that <gasps> random Bowser fair, and they Just like he's then. gonna. Ah. Yeah. Yeah, two oh! oh, what the heck? What the wind box? Okay. It doesn't matter. No, it doesn't have a wind box. It just has a target. It oh, just has. Okay. Marco yeah. with a two stock lead right now. Marco Schmoven. I'd like him to get as much percent as possible. Before he dies. <laughs> <laughs> you, just, you just had to say it. But I mean, you know, two stocks to one clean ain't so bad. That's Bowser, though. He can die any moment yeah. against him. Oh, these jabs are doing work. All right, forces to get up. Yeah, he's the roll in. Still no percent off, put on the rug. Right. Oh, okay, he goes for. Yeah, say yeah, that. that up oh my god. 40% or 0%. Got nice I keep saying three. things and then they happen like right after. 
Jab, okay, we're going oh, to... Oh, I actually like the yeah. opposite happens. Yeah. Like, I said, Marco needs to get as much percent as possible, and then he immediately yeah. dies. Yes. I said, like, no percent on b and then Marco gets percent. What happened there? Yes, I don't think it has a like hitbox on the side. Oh, uh, it does. It's it does? At least on the back. It's Inkling's really kind of small, though. Oh, uh, yeah, I believe it. I just know I've been hit by it a lot of stuff, oh, and it God. makes me very angry. That's a lot of percent right, right there. Alright, so I... I b rods has this habit, yeah, okay. he likes to flame I'll breath at stage. Yeah, I'll right, I'll right like, really good when you're trying very to rack nice up percent. But like, he does a lot when people are at kill percent, he just kind of throws away his ledge trap opportunities. Mm -hmm. and, like, you got that big heavy... Like, oh, you don't yeah. need, you no don't punish need from that. Marco! You don't need to do okay, that, you have Inkling at 143, just do your down very, kill. Bowser very there. high percent. Off stage. Is that gonna do it? Drop kick, you take the first Two stock from Marco on game one. Yeah, I don't like the stage for Bowser. I'm kind of surprised b let him go there. Uh, but I mean... Birods has his stage for OBS. I know. Let's go, Marco! Yeah. I'm, I'm actually almost worried Birods will go back to FD if he leaves it open, too. I think he's, he's gonna go, yeah. um, town. Yeah, he'll, he'll definitely, yeah. If it's left open, ah, he'll go to town every yeah. time. He loves town. He thinks that Bowser's best stage, or he thinks it's his best stage. And I mean, it's been his ace in the hole so far, so. I never want Inklings to win. Say less, they are. I feel you. Come on, Sarah. You got to root for Marco. See, He's I been working Marco, so hard. But I don't want to root for that He's been working so hard. Marco's been working so hard in Ultimate. Always on grind whenever he can. Oh, okay. <laughs> of course, Bowser's jab basically does the same damage as the Smash. All right, it's going to get gonna up into do that fire breath and just suddenly the lead has evaporated. Oh, my God. One more up here. We'll steal it. Try to ledge again. That does so much yeah, damage. Yeah, it's very silly. The fact that you can't like SDI out of it too is yeah. really dumb. Beyond aggravating. Oh, okay, I, th I thought. Oh, no, that, that was cool. very easy. I thought easy what Marco could have done there is he could have up there and they could have like gone to the platform to extend his combo. Oh. And I thought that Did was really cool. Nah. It doesn't matter. Bowser, like, Bowser's up B in this game is actually like mad good. Yeah, I, I heard the way it works. You have to like start it, wait like a second, and then start mashing. Yeah, so it's um, B Rod oh, was saying. Uh, um, all those if you mash right away, you'll get the Looking most like horizontal. Right yeah, you get the most horizontal if you mash right away, and you get the most <gasps> vertical if you wait. That's a very strong one. Like, kick right. mash. Okay, I'm surprised you I like to dare dodge there. I think you can just come down with the forward it's air. It's a bit And now we see the exact opposite of game one. You see B-Rod's out here laughing, uh, laughing Marco. And that's almost going to kill. Not quite. But uh, next hit should do it. Bowser. <laughs> you know. It's a big turtle. He's got some oh, bigger... Oh, he's fought yeah. the ground! All right, B-Rod's really cognizant of using that platform to extend his recovery. But oh, very Marco's nice edge guard right there Marco. Back air. Oh, that's so scary. Is it uh, dead? not dead. Best force one in the game. Well, strongest. Yeah. Yes. Oh, God. <laughs> Poor Marco, that's so scary. Uh, drop. Th that okay. didn't kill? Ah, yeah. <laughs> uh, that'll extra do it. <laughs> That, that actually took two uh, stocks. No, I, th I think that was bad B.I. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, this game actually started four stocks to three, and that move killed Marco so hard, he just dropped two. <laughs> <laughs> oh, not getting the combo right now. Flame going to just win neutral for B-Rods. All right. Nice clean up there, Juggles. That's what you got to do against Bowser. You find your uh, good combo hits, and you can just rack up some mm -hmm. fat percent. He's extremely predictable in this vintage. Mm -hmm. And he doesn't have like a true, like his Nair is decent, but like he doesn't really have a true reversal. a lot of text, but Marco has not been covering him. It seems like uh, Marco's doing a really good job. Every time B-Roz tries to cross him up when he's coming down, he's just catching it up there. Like there he is again, he's up there ready to challenge him. But that, <laughs> yeah, town and city, that, that was to B-Roz's advantage. You know that was Marco's fault. Yeah, it was. Because Marco was at less percent, he yeah. was the one controlling it. Yeah, so uh, it's... A, it's really annoying because like, you get grabbed and like your first instinct is like, oh, I'm gonna DI this, but like you're, you're controlling where you're going, so you're actually making it worse. <laughs> you're just negating all your DI. All right, we got Excal in chat, but not Ex here. Excal DC, yo, he's Excal from DC. the DC. It's yo, Excal from Washington the DC. Excal. Oh, I was thinking about the DC universe. Oh, might be. What? Yeah, you're right. Well, now he's just Excal DC. The man of many Excals. So DC Comics Excal in the chat right, right Yoshi's now. Yoshi's Island, very double-edged sword B here. Being a Excal being a very big Superman fan, Ooh, is just idol. So this stage, basically, it's going to negate Bowser's survivability. Excal, letting us know that DC stands for DC Universe. The most basic one. <laughs> uh, so we're going to see Yoshi's Island right here. 
Yeah. So, Inkling will be able to find like nice little carry off kills that he, excuse me, would on other stages, but oh Bowser's side B is so potent on this stage. Yeah, yeah. right? The platform is. Yeah, the platform so helps him if he DI's the middle and if he DI's the side, you just <laughs> slap off the slope and extra die. Because uh, slopes actually act like slopes in this oh, game, and it's super that's annoying. That's so much percent. Yeah. Oh, going for that D4 there. Go for the beef your recovery. He's going to get caught. Oh. You hate to see that. Yeah. But I love seeing it. It's kind of like, it's like Schadenfreude, you know? Like, I just... The suffering. I'm <laughs> just watching a character get obliterated by Bowser's belly flop. All right, pretty weird upbeat from B-Rod's there. Pretty even right now? Yeah. Guess, uh, no punish from Marco. drifting down here. It's definitely thrown off by what was happening with the, uh, the weird momentum. Oh, very nice wall jump. Yeah, wall jump. Right through the wind box of Bowser's for uh, <gasps> which will be... Oh, okay. scary. Oh, nice dash attack. Slap on coming out, gonna cover the low recovery, forces Piraz high, and there we go, he forces him, traps him Marco, get the first stock. Now. Splat bomb coming in, once again, knocks him into tech on stage, that's so good, but that up tilt from Bowser is even better. And that's dead. No, he could have survived that, I'm pretty yeah, sure. Yeah, I think there was like, he could have gone a little higher, that was an option, I probably would have. But he would have needed like the perfect What guy. the? Flat bomb reversal, lol. And it, I didn't know that could attack Inkling because he just took 22% from that. Yeah. I, maybe, do you think Bowser might have hit him during it? Maybe? With what though? Like four? I, I think he was falling with Nair. Yeah. yeah maybe. I know um, with uh, me Gunner, with the, their bomb, if you hit the bomb, it'll actually damage I, oh, the I thought gunner. Mark will grab him right so now. So it might, it might interact like that. It might have B Rods hit him and the bomb and then it detonated them both. But uh, very interesting. Oh, Chad is grabs out the DLB. Spot bomb comes out, forces B Rods high. Oh, gets good air dodge from B Rods. Down smash, not the right option there. Going for that up air, but Bowser's too beefy. Coming down with the flame breath again, getting a little predictable. Commits with that dash attack. Coming down, yeah, once again, Marco is oh, showing already. Gonna kill? No, it's not going to kill, but. Uh, Back is throw? No. But uh, Marco's already shown. He will catch B Rods out. Oh, okay. Slap Bomb, going to take it. This is Marco's yeah. chance right here. He'll catch B Rods out every time he goes over him. B Rods still hasn't really caught on to that. I think we're going to see something big here from B Rod. Oh, okay. I like to. Uh, I would like the forward smash for a bit more delay. <laughs> That's something that was play for you. Alright. So the forward tilt to bait an option, but he I think we're another good. one. I think we might start seeing a lot of side beats from B Rods. Yeah. Oh, nice. You gotta look oh. nice combo from Marco right there. B Rods needs to put the flame breath away. That's not what he needs in this situation. Up tilt, the lols. He's super yeah, he armored to the died it. Uh, he he like a tough guy, I mean, yeah. yeah. I mean, super armor is correct, too. Alright, goes to the deep forward there. Okay, caught. Oh. This That's is off Marco's stage. Chance. Super deep percent. Splat bomb force is high. Okay. I was just connecting. Oh, the slope stuff makes the get up attack miss. Catches it. Oh, goes deep. All right. Out on ledge. Up air from B Rods. Forward Very air. Very high percent right state. now from B Rods. Goes down. <gasps> That's Let's it. go, Marco! Yo, I'm so happy for Marco right now. He's been wanting this win for so long. <laughs> What oh, is sassily flailing the hips is the inkling. And like, it wasn't a close set either. That game one was pretty dominating. Yeah. The, the game two was kind of B Rod's favor. Mm. A lot of B Rod's favor. I but think, game three yeah. was a still a very good choice from Marco. Stages, I, don't like, I don't like the stages from B Rod's, honestly. Uh, I feel like, like, I don't think Yoshi's Island was a bad. I mean, that's not his choice, but he did not ban it was a bad idea. But like, it definitely worked against him. Like, a mm -hmm. lot of those get up attack scenarios just kind of. Uh, Really working against him. And the way B Rods wanted to ledge trap, it wasn't conducive to it. Mm -hmm. But I definitely, I don't think you should be starting on FD with Bowser. So we gotta go play off stream. We gotta go play off stream. Sounds good. Hello, hello. We got. We've 
believe we got Tippy coming down. Solid Politana. And this is going to be winners round three. Okay, that's it. We'll see who's coming up to step up to the plate. But, uh, pardon me. Man, the wings are good. Hope you guys are having a good night. Looks like it's going to be Tippy and Yayo. Checking out controls right now. So Tippy Solid Palutena, uh, definitely been getting top eight at quite a few uh, weeklies here, and even doing uh, doing really well at GCS, which just happened on Saturday at Click Esports. We're gonna putting in a high poo. Interesting. Maybe there's somebody in the chat for him. Oh, that's you. How's it going? It's doing it for you, my homie. Voltus, not a bad suggestion. The Pikachu. So I'm going to give you guys a view of them. Hello, sorry about my air. So Tippy is on the right. Yayo is on the left with all the tats. He's got some cool stuff. Got a Majora's Mask one recently in one of his hands. The bands right now. To be seen, Bannon, the Animal Crossing stages. Looks like we're going to uh, Congo Jungle Battlefield, the Alpha variant, as some people say. Looks like Yayo is on the left for the score. Let me fix that real quick, and we should be good. A bada boom. The pink Paltana and the pink cotton candy uh, DK. Let's see how this goes down. So of course, you know, DK being a heavy, uh, big, big hurt box, easy to juggle, but uh, does have some strengths of his own. Side B will pop shields, can throw people off the stage, pretty cool. But right now we got uh, Tippy making those nares work, and DA yeah, who's gonna lose an early stock, that's unfortunate. Uh, you hate to see it, but you know what, still early on, he's still warming up. That's some nice tunes on the stage, too. Nice snares. And follows up with the up air. Good stuff. Tippy. All right. Yeah, yeah, retaliating with that up tilt. Nice dash attack. Okay. So right now he's doing pretty good. How's it going? It's radical. We got so, the TO coming on mic here. I have like so. zero knowledge of this game right now. So. Oh, no, that's all but like, I couldn't get another commentator. <laughs> no, that's fine. So I was like, I'm not going to leave B Rods alone. What do we got going on? Uh, this is Winners Round 3, uh, Game 1 of Yayo and Tippy. Nice. How do you feel about this matchup, B Rods? I mean, DK likes to do, you know, the, the drag off throw. He can pop shields with side B. He's got a few tricks up his sleeve. But, uh, you know, as long as Palutena is playing it safe, you know, spacing the, the back air, going in with dash attack where she needs to, and going, uh, you know, controlling the air with nares, it's it's pretty hard for the heavies to get in. Oh, good explosive flame. Trying to cover that option. One second. Okay, so we're covering up. Oh, my gosh. Oh, nice back. They're going to pop him off the stage, catching him with the... Oh, my gosh. That was uh, on the verge of brilliance there. But he's going to just run off and chuck her. Man, that's rude. But you know what? That's what he does. what DK has to do. Uh, you know, Tippy's still sitting pretty right now with uh, no damage on the second stock. Oh, gets tripped. Hello. We got uh, Fog and Mirrors hopping on mic real quick for a moment. What's up? Hello, folks. All right, so we got Yayo versus Tippy. Yeah, it's two stocks apiece right now, but a lot of damage on Yayo. He SD'd early on or got gimped. I'm not quite sure what happened, but he lost his stock at like 40%. That's right. So he's doing pretty good trying to come back here, but uh, Tippy doing a, a good job as well as uh, making him really work for it. And that back throw almost going to do it. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so Tippy taking that stock. One stock left for Yayo. They're throwing you on commentary. Yep. Uh, <laughs> who's only Chenzi? Uh, that is Blazer, I do believe. 
yeah, I, I did I say I wasn't gonna be here Monday? I, I guess maybe I didn't. Oh, good nares. All right. So do you know if it's TP or TP? Uh, you know, I've honestly been interchanging. I should probably ask him, but uh, you know, the man with the TIPI. Yep. Uh, shouting out one of the bros in chat right now, though. I believe that is uh, freaking Joel. Who said it was him? Someone did. But uh, yeah, it's going, it's going good. So TP gonna take that first game. Point on the board, and this winner's round three set. It was game one. This is a best of three. Also, uh, no Sayara. I got it back from me. Thanks, Very Sarah. nice. Also, hello, Sarah, Excal, Atlas, all you fine fellows in the chat. Yep. Blazer, of course, shouting out earlier. Very nice. So, I'm going to rock it with the DK, but now counterpicking your hair color. Both yeah. are green now. You know, you went from, you went from the... I mean, it's the same hair color now. Yeah, they yeah, both yeah. have the same hair. Uh, so, Pokemon Stadium. It'll be interesting to see what they can do with these mm, dual plats here. I'm interested to see, like, I haven't seen the uh, DK yet, but I imagine it's, like, very um, momentum driven. Like, you get one good hit, and it's like, okay, pressure, 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 pressure. Yeah. And right there, we see the uh, pretty much unfortunate truth for any heavyweight character. It's going to be, uh, they're going to have to suck it up and take it, because as long as uh, Tippy's at the, the helm of the control there, he knows how to get those nares. How, he knows how to trap you, and, okay, trying to get in there with the dash attacks. Ooh, but another one. And right now, he Oh, wanted the spike. I, I appreciate it. I respect it. Yeah. Um, at this percent, you know, uh, fishing for that safe back air, trying to make it as safe as possible, is usually one of the good go to things. Oh! Unfortunately, though, uh, the super armor or invincibility of the shield is going to prevent him from doing that sort of back air, as we saw just like mm -hmm. That was interesting. Okay, dash attack. Oh, up tilt. That nair might put in work early, but it doesn't oh. steal the stock away. That's going to start oh, KO wow. him, yeah. I did not. Okay, cool. So you, there's a little trick for start KO. It's like if you're looking at the blast zone uh, measure, yeah. it like immediately starts going down. Okay, nice. Yeah. Okay, an airplane, let's go. Using that platform to get some more height to get that forward air. Quick 50%. Solid. Uh, how did he kill him in the first game? I don't even recall, honestly. It's uh, He's going to have to make either like a, a really solid read or just like keep pressuring him up. Yeah, okay. I'd, I'd like to see him like call out some dash attacks, perhaps. Like, I mean, Tippy's not really doing too many. But like call out dash attack side B, stuff like that. You know what I mean? Nair side B. I don't know how much armor it has, but... Oh my gosh. Down tilt to interrupt the recovery. Immediate back here to seal that stock. Like, this is... uh, Tippy's only taking... 70% on this first stock right now. It's looking pretty rough, but it's not out. It never will be as long as you're playing DK. Aye, aye, aye. Really making a quick work. I mean, DK is the camouflage tech here. He's blending in with the stage. Tippy's saying, I got the uh, you know Sam Fisher tri-mono thing going on with the infrared vision. Being like, you can't hide from me, Big Kong and oh my gosh, gonna put him in a bad spot. Oh, doesn't quite get the back air. Warps back to the ledge though. Tippy wants this bad. That's all he needs. Oh my gosh, storming onwards with that up B, but gonna get grabbed and oh, oh nice. Honestly, Tippy has a decent, well, not a decent, a sizable lead that he can go out for some Randy stuff. If he wants to seal the deal off stage like that. Yep. But honestly, you just have to play safe, get some more nares, and that'll do it if he wants to. I, I don't think I've seen Yeo charge up uh, DK punch. I mean, I, I'm I sure it's like impossibly hard in this matchup. Yeah. But uh, one thing I've been seeing, like, or labbing out in general, is like a uh, short hop wind up DK punch, then jump before you land and cancel it. Oh my oh, gosh, he went, he went so low. deep and he can't even recover. Oh, wait Body a minute. Hey! JV3? Nope. No 0% uh, in the yeah, shot. Yeah. So that's, uh... Oh, I guess, yeah. That was so fast. So, Tippy, taking that pretty convincingly, too. Oh, over. Yeah, he was still in, though. Of course, you'll see him around in losers if he can do a bit of a run. Also, I was just informed that I'm going to have to play you next. Oh, sick. You, so, you, you did good. Uh, All right. Yeah. Yeo says he's switching back to Krom. Apparently, everyone I commentate with, I have to play against. Okay. Well... Ladies and gents, uh, we'll try and find somebody for commentary, but uh, for now, I bid you adieu. Peace. Have a good one. Yeah, have a good one.
What's up? Super Radical here with Kuma. What's uh, up? What's up? How is it going, everybody? I see that we're on the wrong scene. That's okay. Don't use this one. Oh, you can't even see me. Move over. Get in there. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay. Hey, guys. Uh, I am not commentating. I don't, I don't commentate that much anymore. We're actually going to have Yeo coming up here. He's just grabbing a beer. I'm um, just showing Kuma the ropes of how to pilot while streaming. So all you have to do is you look at who's playing and what side they're on. So it's like Marco versus Yonks. Okay, we have okay. a drop down. It's super easy. He's find Marco, Marco Tech, there he is. And then you find Yonks, which should be it should be BKR Yonks, we always put the thing. Right there. And uh, this is I think this is winners round four actually. Is this winner semis? Uh, this is winner this is winners semis, yeah. We're gonna go ahead and put winners uh, do I have a semis for this? They're actually playing right now, so feel free to start commenting. Okay, we've got Peach versus Grinkling here. She's uh, getting some... Grinkling? Wow. <laughs> All right. Okay, we've got some backers being thrown out. Down tilt goes for the forward air, misses that. And she's uh, going for the follow-up here. Yance is looking pretty dominant for the first stock here, but it's just one stock. That's not the whole game. Now, uh, Peach actually is pretty phenomenal uh, in the current meta of our, of our game, or as some people have been calling it, this season of Smash Ultimate. Ooh, season one. Season, is it season one still? We're not in season two yet? Who I have no idea. I don't I actually... I heard the confirmation. <laughs> I assume until the first DLC round is out. <laughs> and then so, when we get the second with Steve from Minecraft and... Uh, it's Hollow coming. Knight. It's definitely coming. So you play uh, you play Inkling, correct? I, I do play How Inkling. do you feel about this matchup? Um, I actually haven't played too many Peaches yet. I do feel like... Uh, Inkling can pretty much handle any situation depending on the player. It doesn't want me exactly. Though Peach does have <laughs> plenty of options. Yonks actually plays a pretty incredible Peach uh, in the Ottawa area. And uh, some of the aerials that Peach can throw out through flow canceling and also just the amount of uh, how fast that bear is. Uh, the short hop bear is uh, pretty intimidating because it leads to uh, a very, it leads to an intimidating approach from the character. I would say her, uh, her neutral air is definitely pretty grimy also. So. Um, Yonks recovering there. Uh, I just play a lot of like random with my friends to play like all the characters. So like when Trying I get to feel everybody Dizzy, out. I definitely uh, throw out a lot of forward airs, just like spacing them out. Marco going for a pretty bread and butter uh, ledge guard there with the uh, the bomb. Coming in with the roller, slow it down. Hits the back air, throws the bomb there. It's a great ledge guard because it allows uh, him to pressure the character that he's playing against to go for a less, what I find, a less safe recovery. And then usually you'll see Marco run off the stage for a fair or a bear if he can get it, which has been very effective for him. He actually did very well against B-Rods when it came to ledge guarding against Bowser. Oh, good parry. Doesn't follow up, though. Gets the grab. Oh, actually manages to get knocked out of the combo there. I'm not sure with what move that was. Goes for the traditional inkling recovery, the the bread and butter, the inkling privilege recovery. <laughs> Pretty much unstoppable. Yonks with a big lead here, getting grabbed, bomb thrown. Uh, Marco definitely trying to get the pace going in his favor. Oh, and if there's one thing Yonks has been, uh, I've seen him be very good at. And you saw it twice there. Is getting those parries. Uh, he is. Uh, when I asked him how he, oh, let's see. No, he actually manages to mash out of that too. Very nice. 
Uh, when I asked him about how he got so good at parries, he said it was from playing so many sorties online. You have you have to get good at parries oh, as Peach, otherwise you're just going to get absolutely bodied. Oh, there's something about the online in this game. I feel like it just uh, it changes the whole game. It is absolutely awful. One second. I don't want to be good. I need, I need Yale here. But that's fine. I call it? No, I it's okay. The pipes. You got the pipes? No, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. Throwing the Radish. Gets the recovery. Goes for the traditional get up, but then gets yeah, gets that fair. I was gonna say if he can get a grab, the back throw would be all that. All right, I will be right back. Or I'm gonna get Yeo to come over. Yep. We're gonna leave you with uh, Kuma. Nice talk. Actually, are you in amateur? Yeah. Okay, I'll hold your matches. Okay. We're right back. Alrighty, guys. So now it's just me for the moment. Uh, uh, Marco, unfortunately, getting uh, losing that one against Tiongs there. Tiongs with the peach. It's pretty clean. Definitely, uh... All right, so Yayo's coming up here. <laughs> okay, he forgot he was supposed to come here. Well, we, do you know for uh, esports or can I swear? Ooh, I'm, I'm gonna swear anyway. Who cares? I'm the least knowledgeable person on the subject. <laughs> This is, what, this is game two or three? This is uh, game two. So Jonas, uh, no, I got destroyed. I'm no, no. I went DK both games. I'm I'm not doing that again. That's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So how do I? Uh, here we go. Okay. So I believe Marco uh, won, right? No, no, no. Yonks won. Yonks won. Okay. Yeah. Alrighty. So game two going on. Yonks definitely <laughs> has the lead here. Nice oh, nice parry into down tail forward air. Good. Uh, the follow up there. Oh, Jonas hasn't taken a single percent yet. Yeah, he's. Uh, oh, he missed that uh, the turn up there. Oh. No zero to death. No Not today. No zero. That's good. Good, good. No Twitter combo today. We're not going to see Jonas. I mean, if he didn't get hit, we might have seen him on Yeet Smash Top 10, zero to deaths <laughs> like next week. Like, come on. Oh, honestly, they'll see him in the highlight reels. But right? Like, we, we get Omega like every other week. Like, we, we can get, like, Yonks or, like, yeah, Brad or somebody, we, we right? We need to spice it up. Get more players. Yeah, more we, we got some of the bakery boys on there. There we go. But, uh, Yonks yeah, taking no. a good, good lead here, actually. Oh, definitely. Uh, definitely uh, dominating this set so far. Let's yeah, Yonks is, uh, his peach is looking clean. I gotta say, as an inkling main, I want to see Marco bring this back. I like don't, I don't come to weeklies for like two weeks, and I literally just play Persona Five the whole time. Oh, and then Jonas doesn't come so to weeklings for four weeks, and he's just playing Smash the whole time. Yeah, and he comes looking better and better. Oh, like I just a uh, hundred percented Kingdom Hearts Three. Oh, let's go. I've just been taking time off, not like off. Oh, this is actually Winter Semi. Is okay. I've been playing too much with my friends, playing random, playing with items, you know. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah I got you. I got you saying yeah, yeah. Come back in. You play with your friends, you're like mad body these losers with say, like every single secondary I have. I got then. dropped to losers by somebody I like crushed last was time. Was it wet out? Was it wet out? Yeah, I was wet out. I was he beat my crumb by two out his ass in my DK. Oh, I saw that, I saw that. Oh, unfortunate there, getting uh, gimped by the turn. Yeah, no stage tech. Yeah, no uh, tech on the spike. Yeah. I feel like Marco could have just buffered it, but, you know. This should be a st Oh, yeah. No, no, yeah. Okay. Jonas baiting out the, um, the aerials there, actually. I was going to say, if he dropped off the ledge and back aired it. Uh, the theoretically, he could have just back aired him, oh, but Jonas was really good at baiting it. Oh, and good. it didn't matter. Well, right. no, it does, because Jonas is the only whole stock up. Uh, that's true. At least not a shot out this game. That's a good thing. Yeah, that's true. That's what I like to see. If Marco doesn't get, like, Twitter comboed in two seconds. Yeah, true. I was talking to Jonas once, and he told me when he grabs you with any like uh, of his drag downs or any of his uh, auto cancel aerials. Yeah. If he does, I don't know what throw it is, but if you di in, he can only back air. If Ooh. you di out, he can like reset you essentially and re grab you. And then you, like cause one time I was playing against them, and it was a pretty close game too. Yeah. And then he zero deathed me in the third stock. It was really annoying. Oh my god. He was at like ninety percent too. Marco has to play very well here. He has a little bit percent to play uh, around with. It seems to me like after that roller, he prefers to jump to cancel it, but that I feel like takes more time than if you go for like mashing A to get out. Uh, I think the jumping A's. jumping air dodge is the optimal way to do it. It's just I haven't seen him do the air dodge after he just kind of jumps and like slowly. Okay, like, he hasn't been it's been buffed, I guess, but yeah, I don't know too much about Inkling to be honest. Yeah, I definitely. Uh, Other than that character dropped into tier list, like. Yeah, it dropped like, really hard in a lot of people's gear lists, but nothing really changed. No, exactly, yeah. Because people, uh, really oh yeah, yeah. Jonas really. loves those fairs. All right, well, yeah, there's the fair to take the set. This is the best of three, right? So Jonas just wins? This is the best of five. Um, Yo, is that best of five? Okay, okay, okay it's best so of five, best okay. Of five, we're still not so done I'll put Jonas in as two, oh. 
Never count out Marco though. He had a really good upset today. Oh, beating, like I uh, said, I, I want to see him bring this back. I want to see five. Uh, five yeah, I hope he doesn't go for Rob though. Like his Rob is sick, but like oh, his I inkling is dope. Right I want to see Rob. Rob's definitely one of my favorite characters in terms of just like how fun they are. And like, I don't think Marco can hear me right now, but Jonas often goes for fair on the platform. Uh, he's trying to read either your oh, neutral get up Ridley's or your jump. Wait, what? Okay, wait. A Excuse minute. me. We've got a game. Here. Is this just? Wait, wait. He doesn't. Need I don't play Marco enough, to be honest. I knew he has a Rob, and his main is Inkling, but did leave? Oh, good combo off the down throw. Uh, turned oh, I don't know why he turned around there. Yeah, yeah. That was a uh, misinput, yeah, for sure. Definitely, definitely. 